All right, boys and girls, let me talk to you today about the Ford LGT 165. This is the latest addition to my fleet, and we are looking at a lawn tractor from the 80s, uh, late 70s, early 80s. I do not know what year this one is because I cannot find anywhere on here where there's a decent date code or a serial number. Um, usually it can be found on the engine, but as you'll see in a little bit, that code is not there. And um, but I, what I can tell you is this has a 16 horsepower Kohler engine in it. it. It has a hydrostatic drive. I do believe this has been restored because this thing is just in wonderful condition. And um, as far as I know, the only thing wrong with it is that the deck belt is broken, so it won't mow grass right now. Um, I also noticed that the headlights don't work and uh, the wires just not plugged in under the hood somewhere so I'll track that down sometime. There is a little little damage right here. Um, if I wanted to take time to replace that, but we're looking at a tractor that is 853 pounds. So this is not your modern day grass cutter this is a garden tractor i love the color of this thing i've seen them for sale from time to time on the internet and it was always out of my price range now i did not get this uh really cheaply or anything but when you consider the cost of what somebody put into restoring it uh i'm very very pleased so uh well, there is a model number down here you'll take a look at <clears throat> and under the hood like I said a little push button there to open the hood and there's actually a there we go Oh, I just noticed these bolts are loose. But there's the Kohler engine I'm talking about. Oftentimes, you can see from the tags here and uh, that there's a date code or a serial number that you can identify uh, the, uh, the manufacturer date. And this is all just rubbed off. So we can see it is a K341 um, engine. This is identical to the John Deere 216. You'll see 16 horsepower. I gotta get a new gas cap for it. This one's split. And there's the battery. The 22, 2022 battery, so a new battery. That's good. These have removable sides. So you can access things inside. Over here on the control deck, you've got the throttle and the choke. Uh, this, what is this? Parking brake. This is for raising and lowering, not not raising and lowering, but adjusting the height of your deck. This is for raising and lowering the deck. It's actually hydraulic. And over here we've got the speed range. We've got a high range, neutral, and a low range. Uh, this is just to adjust the, the seat height, uh, forward and backward anyway. And on the dash up there, we've got the lights, we've got the PTO switch, and we've got the on off, the key switch. Here's the hour meter and an amp battery amp so under the seat we've got uh, i see they bypassed the safety switch for the seat that is not a factory seat anyway and there's a little bit of a tool space for tools in here Got a heavy duty axle On this side, we've got the hydrostack pedals, forward and reverse, and the and the brake. Maybe we can tighten that up a little bit. All right, let's get this thing started. Let you see how it sounds. See how it sounds? Hear how it sounds. Uh, 
All right, I found that you have to keep the the speed range in neutral before you can start this thing. So there it is, the Ford LGT165, so my newest toy, and uh, I just I want to give it a bath and rub it with a diaper and never use it, but uh, hey, it's a tool, and we'll see what uh, what we can do with it. I'm thinking we're just going to mow some grass with it, So, but for now, it's going back in the barn, so thanks again for watching.